Hello folks, welcome again to yet another session on number system. Today in this session we are going to discuss decimal representation of rational numbers. Now uh, looks intimidating isn't it? But don't worry we, we will try and simplify this concept and uh, you will be able to use it in multiple uh, you know uh, in applications. So what, what does it mean decimal representation of rational numbers? So we have to just recapitulate what is rational number so if you remember what are rational numbers rational numbers are the numbers of the form of p by q where q was not equal to 0 and p and q are uh, p and q belongs to the integer set yep and p and q are integers and uh, gcd or, or hcf of p and q was equal to 1 that is there is no common factor between p and q it, that means in terms of fraction it is most simplified fraction Okay, now what does decimal representation of rational numbers mean? So let us take an example and then first understand. So if someone says 1 upon 2, clearly it's a rational number, there's no doubt about it. But what is 1 upon 2? So basically, you know, if it was a bigger number divided by a smaller number, then you usually know there will be a quotient and there will be a remainder. In this case, 1 is lesser than 2. So how do we represent? it in some decimal form so it's nothing but you have to basically divide the 1 by 2 so how to divide that you know the process the long division method so if there is a smaller number then you have to put a decimal after 0 and then the moment you put a decimal point 1 becomes 10 1 0 gets associated with it so hence now it is 0 2 times 5 you follow the normal division process and you get quotient as 0 0.5 so 1 point 1 by 2 is nothing but 0. 5 okay let us take another example 1 upon 3 so in this case what do you do you this is 3 and you divide 1 so for that you put 0 first and then you put a decimal so that 1 becomes 10 then it goes by 3 so 3 3 is a 9 so the remainder is 1 now again you can put a 0 and then it goes by 3 again so it becomes 9 and if you see the process is repeating isn't it so again you take 9 and then 1 and then if you see there is no end to this process because you know you see every time the same 9 comes and the remainder 1 goes and then it keeps on going like that so what do we say we say 1 by 3 is equal to nothing but 0 0.333333 and there will be infinite number of 3 so we just put a dot like that but it is very difficult to write like that because how many 3's would you, you will, would you write basically so hence there is a process to it so you see only 3 is repeating so whatever portion is repeating you put a bar over it right so 0 0.3 bar so hence this is read as 0 0.3 bar so 1 upon 3 is nothing but 0 0.3 bar let us take some other example let us take we have 4 upon let's say 25 okay so how do we go about it so you know 25 and then what do you do you again go by the long method so this is 4 so you put you put 0 and then a decimal so it becomes 40 isn't it now you go by 25 ones are 25 so hence you get remainder as 15 then what again you put a 0 then what 25 times 6 is 150 and it ends the process ends so hence 4 by 25 is nothing but 0 0.16 this is the decimal representation of 4 upon 25 for that matter any fraction it is or any rational number will there, there, there be there will be a decimal representation of it let's take another example let us say we have 3 upon 7 okay now 3 upon 7 again let's do the process division process 7 and this is 3 you put 0 then decimal so it becomes 30 so 7 3 times no so not 3 times my bad so 0 0.4 4 times 28 you get what 2 right then again put a 0 20 then what 7 2 times 14 isn't it then what 6 so 60 now what 7 7 is a 49 7 8 is a 56 so 7 8 times 56 so what is it 4 right oh it, it it seems it is going too 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 deep now again 40 so hence what 7 5 so 35 right again 5 oh it doesn't seem to be ending anywhere soon so 50 so 7 7 is a 49 
correct what is left 1 so 10 so 7 ones are 7 and 3 so hence 30 so if you notice we have hit 30 again and there is no reason why the entire process will repeat isn't it so you can try for a few so let us see let us say it's 30 right so again 7 4 so 28 remainder 2 so 20 2 and then 14 and then 6 and so on and so forth so what do we see we see that 3 upon 7 is equal to 0 0.428571 then again same digits will repeat 428571 then again 428571 like that like that like that right which can be now in our notation can be written as 0 0.428571 bar isn't it this is the decimal representation of 3 upon 7 okay so let us take another one so let me take um, what should i take i should take let's say 21 upon 11 okay this is another rational number both numerator and denominator are integers and they can be uh, the gcd is 1 and denominator is not equal to 0 so let us go by the long division method so 11 and this is 21 so it is 1 times 11 so 10 so you'd put a decimal so now it becomes 100 11 nines are 99 right so what is left 1 again you put what 0 so hence 0 comes isn't it uh, 0 will anyways come so it will become 100 right now now what again 9 so you will get 99 and then you see the process repeats it is 1 so you put 0 but it is not sufficient so you put 0 again so this is 100 and again 9 and 99 and it carries on so hence 21 upon 11 can be written as 1.909090 like that so hence it is 1.90 bar understood so this is what 21 by 11 would look like so uh, what do we infer if you if you see what are the observations there are two types of decimal representations we are getting yeah so i can write that so observations are observations observations are these one one the one of the, 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 the there are two types of observations are two two types of two types of decimal decimal representation is there are there representation right two types are there one if you notice is called terminating decimal terminating the term is terminating why terminating because the decimal representation ends after a point so for example here 4 upon 25 if you see doesn't keep on going on forever right it is 0 0.16 that's it similarly if you see here 1 by 2 was 0 0.5 correct so these are called terminating right so there will be an end to the process but there is another one which is called non-terminating non-terminating right there is no end point of the division process but it not only it is non-terminating it is also called it is also recurring recurring means repeating right after some time the decimal representation repeats if you see best example was our 3 by 7 so 42857 42857 42857 you see a pattern right it repeats after a certain time similarly here it is 1.909090 like that similarly 1 by 3 was 0 0.33333 repeats keeps on repeating so there is a repetition right so what do we observe there are two types of decimal representation one either it will be a terminating or it will be non-terminating recurring so you now know the process of uh, expressing a fraction into a decimal form you just simply need to divide it you know the process of division and that's all so there are and then you you observed this particular thing that there are two types of representation one is terminating decimal another is non-terminating recurring decimal representation.
right now i'll give you another good uh, you know uh, trick here if you see terminating decimal only a few types of fractions will end in terminating decimal that we will take up in next lecture thank you